2020 marks 400 years since the Mayflower carried some of the first European settlers across the Atlantic Ocean to North America. To commemorate the anniversary, another vessel is recreating that voyage. But as Roxana Saberi reports, this journey will look and feel much different. Among the yachts and freighters floating in the harbor at Plymouth, England, a little ship is warming up for a big journey. We don't know how it, it's, it's going to go. Is it, is it going to make it across the Atlantic? Fingers crossed that, that it does have a successful first voyage. Success is uncertain because though the vessel will rely on the latest navigation technology when it sets out to sea this spring. We get all sorts of cameras. So here, here, here. It won't carry a crew or a captain. It has no people in it. There's no people space. Instead, robotics expert Brett Faniff says artificial intelligence designed by IBM will guide it. So it looks at its own cameras like eyes, it looks at the radar, it looks at all sorts of other sensors, and then it charts its own course and it can deal with unique situations without any human input. There is a hazard to navigation. Situations like other ships it could encounter along the way. Course change required. But to recognize them, humans like software engineer Ollie Thompson are trading it with more than a million images. So we can see here that we're able to track other vessels. And what we're doing at the moment is simulating um, what, she's, uh, what she's seeing. That's what you don't want the ship to run into. Absolutely, yeah. Programmers are also setting the ship's destination, Plymouth, Massachusetts, retracing the voyage made by the Mayflower 400 years ago this month. It took that wooden merchant ship 66 days to transport dozens of pilgrims across the Atlantic. In the 1950s, a replica sailed from England to Massachusetts, where it's docked today. But Faniff, who grew up near Plymouth, Massachusetts, wanted to mark the Mayflower's famous past by looking ahead instead. I thought, well, we should build a ship that speaks to the next 400 years, what the marine enterprise will look like then, as opposed to what it looked like 400 years ago. An international team turned his vision into the solar and wind-powered Mayflower autonomous ship. If we don't its mission, software developer Rosie Licorice says, is to learn more about our oceans by gathering data on plastic pollution, warming waters, and their effects on marine life. It's very expensive at the moment for scientists to actually go out on these research missions. So having autonomous vessels like the Mayflower autonomous ship is, is really an important step in kind of actually enabling us to, to go out to these, these dangerous places and learn a lot more. Other boats have tested similar technology. Take, for instance, this car ferry that can dock by itself. But the new Mayflower is one of the world's first fully self-navigating ships to take on the 3,000-mile transatlantic trip. What are the benefits to not having any crew in here? Nobody gets tired or hurt or sick, and we can keep the ship very small. What is your biggest fear with this vessel? Something silly breaks that we didn't think of, and it slowly crashes into Ireland. Could it capsize? Sure. That would be kind of sad. But yeah, that, I wouldn't want that to happen. Have we thought of every possible situation? If it does, the team plans to track the ship via satellite and salvage it. But if the unmanned voyage succeeds, Faniff says it will commemorate history while charting a new path. I want people to look back on this 400 years from now and think about how different this was from what other people were doing. It's a future, he says, that the world is just starting to imagine. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, Plymouth, England. Sort of no surprise there when you look at autonomous cars that it would make sense that we start moving in the direction of what's out there on the water. But the fact that they can look at the plastic pollution, warming temperatures, I think that's great. It's fascinating to see. I mean, so many obstacles. We'll see how long it actually takes for that journey to be completed.